Hmm. Um, sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Me first over a meal. Very, mm -hmm. I, I'm, that was I'm fun. a great believer in food and music. Yeah. I figure the food goes in and the song comes out, and it's the same process. So, uh, and um, this s sense of of trying to create something that hasn't been there before. So you're not following a model that is very easy to. I just want a piece like this. That you're trying to find exactly the right piece for this particular group, and where they live and what their age is and what the th pa favorite pieces they've sung before. And then it was a great help for me to come out and see how David was working with them. I love his warm-ups. He just has the kids, the minute they come in, getting this many kids, and you know, 100 kids in a one section or something into the room, and they come in, of course, from their other classes. And so, but he has a, a chant going right away, so that as they come in, there's no talking. They put their book bag down, and they come up and find their place, and they tr they're joining in on something that's already going. And that was just neat to see that, and the way they learned. And then that first program that you were working on was the one that had Mozart, and it had pop pieces, and it had, I forgot all of the things. But there were just many different kind of styles in it. And the, the Mozart went way higher. He hit those girls up on a G, and I thought, does that happen very often? He said, no, but, but of course they can do it. And of course, they, that's, I believe so strongly about that. I don't think there's any point in saying, well, middle school kids can't sing this note. Because if it's presented the right way and it, you're approaching it the right way, you, you can. Yeah. So the, it was just a, just a very good experience to, to have that. But I think that the more the, more the com composer can uh, attend rehearsals and get to know the group and the and the conductor, and then the same way that the conductor can articulate what he wants, pretty much what he's looking for with mm -hmm. the students, and have an, have an honest interchange, so that if you really don't like that text, you say, you know, that, that it's possible to keep those communication lines open. But I think if you do that, that every piece that comes out of it is going to be different, because people are different, and the yeah. mood is different. Yeah, I think that the last, last part of uh, what was said, the whole, the whole communication thing. And I, I think also that's important is that working with, with Alice and um, um, here you, you, have, you have Alice Parker who is world renowned. And I remember saying to somebody that I, I, I was working with, with Alice Parker and they said, oh, you are. Well, what is she like? You know, she's very varied. And I said, just lovely. And they said, well, you know, once they get to that level. And I, 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 I think the thing that I found, and I'm hoping the same here, is that um, in our profession, I think that sometimes egos probably are the biggest stumbling block. And I don't think in the relationship that we built that was ever a problem was at all. Was non-existent, yes. And mm -hmm. I think that that's probably um, what would get in the way of anybody in, in this kind of relationship and that that's what you would have to be careful of. And um, you just can't have that in the way. You know, you can't go into this saying, saying, this is my ensemble, and this is exactly what I'm looking for, and I won't accept anything else. So I, I think it, it, it has to definitely be a two-way street. I'm working in collaboration. We're working together, and that's the biggest piece. So, so from the moment we had met for tea the first time, and, um, and that was wonderful. It was. It was just that was yeah. just so much fun. And we just sat and talked. And even, even before opening up music and talking music, mm -hmm. we just sat and talked. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that that set the tone for us. And then from that point on, we were able to just sit. And throughout the whole thing, it was, it was just um, a collaboration. Alice sending me music, and me feeling comfortable enough to say, um, you know, give my feedback, and 
back and forth. So I think, I think any two people going into this kind of a project have to be able to be accepting of that kind of working relationship.